KRK4 News at 4. Democratic lawmakers continue to push the president and Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell to take action on gun control. Last night, Democratic senators taking the floor for an hours-long marathon of speeches demanding a vote on the universal background check bill that passed the House in February. Morgan Wright reports. Mallory, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy led Democrats on the Senate floor demanding action on background checks, but Republicans say they won't take up anything until the president signals what he wants. The time for turning a blind eye is over. Senate Democrats say they're fed up with inaction on gun control efforts in Washington. Don't tell me that this issue is controversial. Connecticut Democratic Senator Chris Murphy led more than 20 of his fellow Senate Democratic lawmakers Tuesday night in a marathon of Senate floor speeches demanding that Republicans allow a vote on a bill to close loopholes in the federal gun background check law. Apple pie and baseball, grandma, none of them are as popular as background checks are. Leader McConnell put H.R. 8 up for a floor for a vote on the floor of the Senate. HR8 is the universal background check bill that passed the House in February. Massachusetts Senator Edward Markey urged Republicans to break from the National Rifle Association and allow a Senate vote on the bill. Forget the money from the NRA. Forget all of the spending which they make. Let us not put a price on the lives of 34,000 Americans who died just last year. But Republicans maintain they're waiting on guidance from the president about what kind of proposal he would support. Rob Portman of Ohio. One of the things that Mitch McConnell has made clear is that if the president's going to veto something, we're not going to take it up on the Senate floor. Republicans say they hope to get that guidance from the White House in the coming days. Reporting in Washington, Morgan Wright, KARK 4 News.